Welcome back to my channel or if you're new hello my name is Megan today I'm going to walk you through my bi-weekly budget number one and we'll do my week one check-in um, for my expenses um, so this is my bi-weekly budget in template number two my Etsy shop is called budget queen shop so go check it out if you're interested this is my calendar from printacalendar.com this is where I write all of my bills and my paydays if you're wondering I just want you guys to be able to reference my calendar once I go through all of my um, all of my things here so first we'll start with income my husband I always budget around 1600 for him he makes around 16 to 1700 so just to be on the safe side 1600 and I get paid around 1300 dollars every bi-weekly budget so that's what I budgeted here is 2900 dollars between the two of us and as you can see, those paydays are in pink and they cover these bills. Usually what I would do is I would count this payday in with this payday um, for my husband. And then I would count this payday as um, May's budget, but I want to start using my paychecks as the debt payoff um as debt payoff money so i want to leave them just the way they are now um but it's kind of weird only having really one paycheck and then one at the very end of the budget i'm just trying to see how it is for april if it's too much stress on us then i'll change it back to have um this payday like because i got paid on the wednesday here and my husband got paid on the thursday i should have budgeted there and then this was the second budget but i didn't so Anyways, now we'll go over bills. So on the second, I paid the Jeep um, payment and my rent. Then I paid our babysitter. Um, I have a private babysitter, if you're wondering, for my two children. Um, and then I paid Wi-Fi, electrical, and our Jeep insurance. And then I paid our babysitter again, which was a little bit cheaper um, than that. It was the same as the 168. So all of the real numbers that I paid for um, all of my bills out right on the actual section. Um, and then um, let's skip debt for a second and just go to expenses. So I just split everything in half from my monthly budget for my expenses. So groceries for the month were 800, so I budgeted 400. Gas, I have 100. Eating out, 50. My husband's spending 25. My spending 25. Kids, 50. Household, 50. And other, 50. Miscellaneous, I have zero, but I have put money into savings. So what I did is I just added savings in this column the other day so I wouldn't forget to add it into my bi-weekly budget on the actual section. Um, so then what I did to get my debt snowball amount was I took my income, subtracted the bills, expenses, and if I had any miscellaneous, and that gave me my debt amount of 548.68. So that's when, that's how I got that number. So um, that is what my bi-weekly budget is looking like. Sorry again that I am filming this on the 11th when it is done on the 15th, um, but I will show you guys a bi-weekly budget results video and it's going to be pretty good because this whole paycheck is almost gonna all go to debt. Um, so this number will be a lot higher than than that. So now I'm going to switch over my pages and we will look at my daily spending tracker. So here is my daily spending tracker and my weekly spending tracker. These are also from my Etsy shop, Budget Queen shop, if you're interested. What I did to get myself started for my weekly spending tracker is I wrote down all of my monthly budget amounts for my expenses and then I added in um, the dates here. So I actually did this until the 7th so I'm going to change that so yeah this is my daily spending tracker I wrote down all of my expenses every day and then drew a line through it where my week one ended um, I had a couple transactions from my husband's um, daily spending tracker that I had to move up to here but this is my weekly spending tracker it is amazing for keeping track week to week I know that having a 
bi-weekly budget, you may think that this is unnecessary, but to see how much you spend for week one and how much you have left over for week two is huge. And I'll be able to show you guys kind of what that looks like today. So let's just get right into it. We're gonna go with our first category, groceries. So as you can see here, I had groceries for $138.08. And then going down the list, I didn't have anything except for in these two little expenses that I had. I had groceries here for $55.95. So my total for um, this week is $194.03. And that just goes to show I have a I have a $400 budget for each bi-weekly period, um, just like I showed in my bi-weekly budget. So that just shows that I'm right on track for that. $200, $200 weekly budget. So that's great to look at and know that I'm on track. Say if I spent $380 uh, week one, that means I only have $20 in week two to spend for groceries to stay at that $400 budget. So this is just a really good check-in as well. And then surprisingly, we didn't spend anything for gas. I believe on the whatever it was, the 30th or the 31st of March, we, we got gas for both vehicles, so which was great. We haven't spent anything for gas, so I'm gonna put zero there. For eating out, this has been our weakness lately with me working and my husband um, working as well. It's just we come home and we're exhausted. So, um, and also myself getting coffees. I have to be very alert at my job. Um, I work in an insurance office and it's, um, and I'm learning still, so I still need to be very vibrant at my job and awake. <laughs> so let's go through these um, eating out expenses. So you see here, 667, uh, 578, 316, and then there's one here for 2597. So for this week eating out, we spent 4158 which isn't bad, but I have a $100 bi-weekly budget for eating out. So that just shows I have like $8.50. As you can see in week two spending already, I have gone over that budget. So I just need to keep in the back of my mind that I have overspent on eating out already for bi-weekly budget number one, and that I need to stop spending on eating out. So next we'll go to my husband spending he spent sixteen thirty eight. That was strictly just snacks for him um, for work. That kind of is different than eating out. Eating out is for the family. So even this six sixty seven, we did go to Tim Hortons. My husband and I each got a drink, and the kids got a cookie. So I count that as eating out rather than um, my spending or my husband's spending. So the sixteen thirty eight was definitely his spending. He told me to put that on his budget, so I am. And then for myself, I got myself a coffee there by myself, so it was 167. 167. And then for the kids, um, $26 here and $6 there. Um, the $26 was diapers for my daughter, and then the $6 were for new bowls, cutlery, and cups from Ikea. My best friend ordered me some and her some, so I sent her money for that. Um, so that all together was $32. Then for household, we spent $6 here on window washing fluid, I believe. <laughs> And then $25.67 here on laundry detergent. So that is a total of $31.67. For other, this is like my random category if anything comes up. Nothing came up within this week, so I'm not going to write anything. So that's zero. So total of this week, I spent $317.33. So I like to keep my spending at around 200 to 250. That's on the very low end. So I kind of stuck around that. I could have gone without a lot of things here. So um, I'm just very happy about the groceries, um, keeping that down as well. So now what we'll do to get our new category balance is take our monthly budget, subtract what we spent, and that gives the new category balance moving into week two. Then for week two, I take what I spent, 
subtract it by my category balance, and that gives the new category balance moving forward. It just is a really good tracker to keep up with how you're spending throughout the month. So um, let's go 800, subtract 19403. That is a total of 60597 remaining. So 200, I spent zero, so 200. And then eating out $100 budget, I spent 4158, so 5842 is our new budget. My husband had $50, spent $16.38, so that is $33.62. For myself, I had $50, I spent $1.67, so that is $48.33. For the kids, I had a $100 budget, I spent $32, so that is $68. $100 budget for household, spent $31.67, so that is $68.33. And then I had a $100 budget for other, didn't spend anything, so that's $100. So now I'm gonna add up how much money I have left to spend, and that is $1,182.67. So pretty great budget moving forward. It just really is a good tracker to see how I'm doing progressively throughout the month. So to make sure these numbers are right, I just add the two together and it should equals out to 1500. So that's how you make sure the math is correct. Um, every time I added up a transaction, I put a dot beside it so I knew I wasn't missing anything. That's a great way to also make sure you're adding everything up correctly. So that is it for this video, guys. Just a quick little overview of my bi-weekly budget number one and then my daily spending tracker and my week one check-in um, just to see, just to show you guys how much I'm spending lately. It actually feels good to come back to these videos. I haven't done one of these videos in months, so I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I am going to film a debt update throughout this week um, just to give you guys a little update of where I was last month and where I am this month. So there will actually be two monthly debt updates. Hopefully I can fil film that for you guys um, one day after work. I am going to get a ring light so I can film at night for you guys so I can film more frequently. Um, I think that would be awesome. So I'm going to go order that on Amazon right now and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. If you're walking